everyone, I'm Holly from Hand Printed. This video is going to be all about mono screen printing. So you, often when you screen print, you've got either a design exposed onto the screen or you're using a paper stencil and it's something um, quite graphic and a little bit more prescribed. But mono printing is a way in which you can create lots of painterly screen prints uh, with really lovely patterns and textures. Because they're mono prints, it means that each print is completely individual allowing you to play around and really have freedom with this process. So I've got a screen set up here. I've got a 90T screen with an exposed aperture on it, and I've got it attached to a board with hinge clamps. I talk all about the setup for screen printing on paper in the last video. So if you haven't seen it, go back and check it out because I'm using exactly the same setup here. I've got a collection of inks here, and these ones have all been mixed up. These are all made with acrylic paint, mix in a 50 50 ratio with system 3 acrylic printing medium which looks like this you can use any acrylic paints you like and mix to get get the exact shades you need i've got a big selection of brushes here so i'm ready to go the first thing i'm going to do is put a piece of paper underneath my screen i already set up the registration you can check it out in the last video to see how to register. So I've got some little pieces of mount board under here to show where the paper goes. Put the paper down first because you don't want to forget to do that one later and waste your mono print printing it directly on the board. I'm going to use a pot, but you can use anything really, to prop up the screen a little bit. So I don't want it to lie flat, I want it to be a bit picked up. Some people put a pencil underneath or something shallow. I'm just going to use this pot to hold it away from the paper. What I need to do now is paint in my design. Because this, is, this screen has been exposed with an aperture, I've got this open area of mesh here. That's where the ink's going to go through. So that's where I'm going to paint my design. It's really important when I'm painting my design to fill in the whole area of open mesh. I don't want any gaps whatsoever. The whole thing needs to be filled. Try not to do too much layering at this stage because whatever you put down first is gonna be the first thing to touch the paper. Doing lots of shading on top of the image isn't going to show up in your print. So really it's a single layer of paint at this point. Got my painting here nice and loose. I've made sure that all the areas are filled in with um, ink so I shouldn't have any gaps. I can now lift up my screen to remove that pot that I was holding underneath it. Put it straight down on the paper, make sure you have paper there. Put it down, get my squeegee and pull down to print. Push nice and hard and keep the squeegee at a 45 degree angle. Lift up the screen to reveal the print. You can use this as an underlayer for um, maybe a line drawing print or something like that. You can continue to um, layer over the top. It creates a lovely texture you get from the brush strokes all this lovely painterly texture but um, the image is quite flat it has that nice flat ink quality that you get from screen prints which is a really nice contrast I think so that goes to one side to dry I can put another piece of paper down got my pot here to hold my screen up and then it goes back. You can see I've got this ghost of the inking in here. So that's still going to be in there. Your next print is going to have a pale ghost of this image here. So you can experiment with layering. 
for this next one, I'm going to start by just dribbling a little bit of colourless medium on the top. It should create a fairly interesting effect in this print and the next. I can now paint whatever I like on the top. This time maybe a bit more abstract, let's see. Put it down on the paper and print. Okay. So here I've got some really interesting textures from those brush strokes and from those dribbles and I've got the kind of ghost or echo of my vase of flowers underneath. Still got a little bit of my vase there little bit of the last layer, these sort of swirly bits going here, and then the fresh layer over the top. So you can be figurative with it, you can be abstract, you can experiment with layering. Whatever you feel like at the time, it's a lot more experimental and loose than um, your standard screen printing technique. So it's a really nice one to go for if you just want to um, have a little bit more freedom and experiment with it. When you've finished your mono screen printing session, just scrape up all this excess ink here and put it into a pot. It'll sort of be marbled with the different colours that you've used. That's absolutely fine. We like to keep them in a pot in the studio and use them again for mono printing. Usually you end up with this kind of um, grey green colour or maybe a brown colour, depending on whatever inks you've been using. But keep it around because it's still perfectly usable for another print. Once I've cleaned all this ink off the screen with a spatula, I'm going to go and take this green um, and give it a little clean down with a wrung out damp sponge. You can also give it a little rinse with a hose in the garden or in the shower with cold water. To make sure your screen is clean, just hold it up to the light. The light should shine through. We don't want to have any ink left in our screen to cause any blockages. Have fun and experiment with this technique. We'd love to see anything that you make. For any advice or help, Leave us a comment or send us a message. We'll be happy to help you. Happy printing.